Who's on the couch? Who is it? Wake up. Let's go see it. You wanna go see? A banana? A banana. What's it give me? That's okay. Oh, the cry. That's not crying. That's a sweet. It's an RV. Here's some water. She sleeps through anything, doesn't she? A hundred? A hundred? No, I know. Hey. <laughs> where? Where? Hey. Hey. Like a dress? I did it! Yay! Yay! We're trying a new tactic with Hensley, uh, trying to get her to use the potty, so... And I've been wearing underpants ever since! <laughs> potty videos. Hensley, are you going to use the potty now that you watch the potty videos? We ain't going to potty. Good! Hensley, here. Sitting on the pipe. Oh, you're sitting on it. Good job. High five. High five. Good job. Hey, that is progress. <laughs> she was like scared to death of that, would not sit on it for a long time. Thank you, Elmo. Thank you. Hensley's cousin, Mia, is staying with us, or stayed with us last night. She's leaving today, but. She loves, loves, loves any kids she gets to be around. Uh, whether we're in town, we're on the road, I mean, super friendly. We're not worried about the social aspect at all. <laughs> so this morning, I'm gonna go get the Airstream. They told me four to five days. It was actually done in like four to five hours. So I'm definitely a fan of under-promising and over-delivering and they over-delivered by like four days. So <laughs> I'm cool with that. So I'm gonna go pick this thing up, see if we can figure out how to move our stuff from the Class A over to the Airstream. Gonna be fun. These are Anderson levelers, they're awesome. You just basically roll your RV onto the levelers instead of having to build up blocks or find boards or any of that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure how well this is gonna work on this is super wet ground, so it may just kind of sink down. <laughs> That's kind of the same problem we would have had with any other kind of leveler as well. We've got the set of two, so one goes in snug on the front axle, and one goes in snug on the back, and then we've got these that'll be put underneath once uh, the RV's up on top of it. We had to max the front and the back out, so. <laughs> this is very unlevel. This is not even technically an RV site. The owner's just helping us out and letting us park it here so we can move our stuff from the Class A to the Airstreams. The only downside I can think of them is I have seen them slip sometimes if you're on like a pavement or a slick surface and you might want to put like some sort of grip material on the bottom of the levelers but other than that um, and the situation where it's like a really severe spot that needs extra height um, they've been really good as far as leveling. What's up? Show daddy what you did. What'd you do Hensley? Hensley! Did you pee pee in the potty? She did it! Wow! You pee pee in the potty! High five! High five! Yeah! 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 I told her we would get ice cream and she pee peed in the potty. And she ice called cream. it a birthday potty. Oh, a birthday potty. <laughs> so we're going to have a birthday potty. You're a good luck charm, man. <laughs> this has been trying for, I don't know, six, eight months, I guess. <laughs> Get back to
been a pretty big day today. Of course, Hensley's gone potty today. And we got our Airstream back. You can find everything in this trailer park. I found these in our trailer park too. So we've got our steps leading up to the Airstream for the move. Because we're going to be moving from this over to... Where's it? There it is. Over to this. <laughs> I don't know. We feel good. We can do this. We can definitely do this. Huh. And that's new too. Oh. Where'd that come from? Marissa said she was going to town real quick. I did not know. I don't know. Let me see what all happened here. Okay. I think that's it. So she's trying some stuff out here, I guess. What are you doing over here, Marissa? I'm just playing and seeing what works in this space. Trying out some colors that I like. And I don't know. I'm just trying to see, like... Because I feel like it needs some rugs in here. And I'm just trying to see, like, what size and length and what goes. It's just... So... Just give me a few minutes. <laughs> We're pretty much to Marissa's favorite part, so <laughs> <laughs> the decoration part. I'm gonna give her some rain to bring in some warmth, some polar bears, and <laughs> whatever else she's gonna dig up with fur on it. And no real animals will be harmed for this RV, I promise. We got a good clean slate. I really think we do. Mm -hmm. I remember somebody at some point told me there's not much of a greater accomplishment as a parent for when your kid begins to go to the potty so I, I don't know if that's like my greatest accomplishment in life she definitely hasn't she's not potty trained so she hasn't really... mastered the potty <laughs> I might even think it, it might have been just like an accident that she peed in the potty but did she you did scare or something no <laughs> she sat on the potty and she went but I'm like I'm gonna have to see some consistency but well, we did give her a lot of praise for it so yeah. maybe she'll catch on that We've been ragging on her all day, so um, <laughs> hopefully, I mean, it makes me want to sit on the froggy potty, so I really hope, I hope she's pumped, <laughs> I hope she continues uh, using that potty, but um, yeah, we're excited to have the Airstream back. We're going to start slowly seeing what fits, what works, what doesn't, and we'll be talking about all that, so. <laughs> yeah, going through our downsize again, because we didn't get our original downsize from our house when we first moved into an RV. So this is definitely going to be a lot of downsizing going mm. from our, our motor home to the Airstream. Yeah. And we're going to have to do some, um, master organization and, <laughs> and elimination. elimination. Yes. Yeah. I knew that was coming. <laughs> I tried to beat you to it. Nathan always tells me that the best way to organize is eliminate. So I have heard that tons in our, journey so um we're gonna have to put that to the test but that's what we wanted to do we felt like we still had more than we needed and i'm nervous about it like i am i'm really nervous about it but i know it's gonna be it's gonna be really good and freeing when it's done kind mm -hmm. of the same way when we went from the house to the rv i felt that way i knew it was gonna be hard but it felt so good and i know this is gonna this is going to be a good good thing for us too. That's what a good goal is. It's like challenging enough where you've got to stretch yourself a little bit and yet not so challenging it's out of reach. And I think that's what this is for us. I think mm -hmm. it's not out of reach. It's not something we can't do, but it's something that's going to stretch us a little bit, mm -hmm. push us a little bit. But it's going to have a big reward. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just driving this thing around. I mean, Marissa could drive this. So, I mean, that's exciting. I could drive the motor home. <laughs> true, true. <laughs> She could drive this on more than a straight stretch okay. out west with perfect weather conditions. So, <laughs> hey, that's um, as far as I made it, though. Yeah, she did good. She did good. And I, I think she could do this too. Yeah. And I've got to get back to getting better at backing in a trailer and maneuvering with that. But um, it'd be fun. It'd be some new challenges. But that's that's life, and we we're excited about it. So um, we're gonna call it a day. Let Marissa brainstorm some more about her animal fur and whatever else is going on in here and well i know it's <laughs> not it's not going to be done right away like it's just going to take time but that's how we do a lot of our stuff we like to throw it against the wall and see what sticks and mm -hmm. we'll find some good stuff to stick though <laughs> hopefully <laughs> so we're gonna call it a night and we'll uh, catch you guys later